asking where's the money for our credit this morning? Good morning and happy Wednesday. A new report from Vantage Score is breaking down how we're borrowing money. The leaders at the Credit Score Research Company broke it down like this. It's the tale of two consumers. So let's get into the numbers. Now, the good news is overall balances went down and people are taking out fewer lines of credit for things like cars, mortgages and personal loans. But here's the bad news. There's been an increase in what's called some prime borrowers. Now, I'd never heard this term before digging through the data. So here's the definition. It just refers to people who have credit scores in that 300 to 600 range. And according to the report, just over 1 million people just dropped from an average credit score to subprime. When we're looking at the reason behind the drop, though, the causes show us where that tale of two consumers comes in. So people who had high credit scores before interest rates spiked, well, they're still able to keep up with their payments and they're paying down their balances. But those who are in the average range, which is between 661 and about 780, that's the group that's falling. We're also looking at the impact these stats have on you because it goes a lot further than loans and getting approved. The article adds that your internet and phone plans, your security deposits, even your rent payments can all increase just because of a low credit score. And more bosses are considering credit when they're hiring folks as well. Sarah? Kia, thank